Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at how to link PSYM and Activate together. So I have here an open loop buck converter, and we will just run it with PSYM, and we'll see we have a waveform here. This is an open loop, and we can see that I am running this with a 25% duty cycle with a carrier waveform of 0 to 1, and I've got 100 volts here, so we are expecting to see 25 volts on the output. Okay, so let's connect this up with Activate. Okay, so I've got Activate open, and what I need to do is go into the Activate library here, cruise down to the bottom, and we'll go to Co-Simulation. And these are the blocks that I'm going to need, this piece and block. So I will click on this Create New Model up here, and I'm going to drop into this a piece and block, a block to couple with piece and Okay, so this is the Activate side, and we can see I, I have a 25% duty cycle coming in, so we'll go Activate and we will go uh, signal generators, and I just need a constant, and we'll place that down, and that will be also 0.25. Oh, 0.25. Click OK, and we'll connect that up. Okay, the output side, we'll look at the output voltage. So to do that, we'll come back, signal viewer, grab a scope, and we will connect that up. Let's line it up, just so Everything looks nice. Okay, so there's what's going to happen in the activate side. Now I need to link to the PSIM simulation. So to do that, I'm going to go back over to the PSIM simulation and I'm going to open up the library browser. And in the library browser, let me get a little bit bigger here, we're going to come over to control and we're going to grab the SIM coupler and FMI module links. Okay, so we need an in link and then we need an out link. Okay, so input and output. I don't need the library anymore. I'm gonna connect this up. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna say this is gonna be my output. And then over on this side, I'm just gonna disable this block here with control D hotkey, wire this up here. I'll double click and I'll call this my input. Okay, click save. And this is my buck open loop now. So I need to go and grab and point to the simulation from Activate. So we'll just go back over here, double click over here, and I'm going to browse to that folder location, which I put in documents over here, over here, over here, and buck open loop. There it is, open. We can see automatically my input and my output nodes got named. So to see these nodes, names here, I go back over on this side and I change this to output demo. I click save, come back over to activate and I reload the file. You can see that, that that name gets pulled up. I can also choose to launch simulation viewer. So this is the, the waveform viewer in PSIM. So we can also choose to save the waveforms and launch that after simulation as well. Okay, so everything is set up now. This is the basic setup. We'll click okay. And we'll, let's just set up the uh, time step here. We definitely don't need 30 seconds. More like um, 10 milliseconds should be good enough. We'll click OK. And we are off to the races. So we'll just let the simulate. Oh, it ran already. So there was the uh, activate side uh, waveform. And here is what we got from PSIM. OK. Now, there's a couple things to highlight here. One is that we used a time step, a fixed time step of five microseconds in PSIM. But if we pull back on Activate, where you are, the engine solving in Activate is the LSODA engine. And we can see actually how that is working over on this side with the time steps. Okay, So we're able to use slightly different engines on either side with slightly different tolerances, but you do need to be careful. Obviously, in this particular application, I haven't closed the loop. so. Uh, the timing issues that could exist between the two tools is not there in this particular instance. Okay, thank you so much. Check back for more tutorial videos.